So as you can see, I've got myself some good beer here. It's Black Star. I've, this is probably the second time I've bought some. And I always seem to enjoy it, but that's not what I'm going to get into with this video. You guys are on a tripod for this video. Um, if you guys remember, I put out a video before I left two weeks ago that I wanted to um, <clears throat> restore the Toshiba. This isn't the one I'm going to restore. This is the one I've been taking the parts off of. And this right here is the old hard drive from the other Toshiba. It's a two gig hard drive. So not much space on it. This one that I bought off eBay as a uh, parts one, uh, which I mainly bought it for, you know, just the cosmetic stuff. It actually had a larger hard drive in it, surprisingly. And I've already got it loaded into the caddy for the, uh, the new Toshiba or the uh, so supposed to be soon working Toshiba. Um, and this one is a, let's see here. Um, I've got it upside down, I apologize for that. Um, this one is the four gig version. So I'm gonna go ahead and what I've gotta do is pull the screws out of the side of the caddy so I can fit it in the actual caddy. Take a swig of beer. And now we are going to put the screws back into the entire deal here. And it appears that two did not line up properly. That's probably, probably because this is a different hard drive, different manufacturer that is, but um, now, I don't know if this thing is fried. Um, it, for some reason, it didn't accept a reinstall of Windows 98. I don't know why, but I'm just going to keep it around just in case this one's busted. Because I know this one does work, but I want to see if the 4 gig works for sure. And if it does, then that's what we're going to keep. I wish I had barred another mag bowl, though. So I'm going to need that part. I'm going to need this. Let's move that computer mouse out of the way because that doesn't need to be there. Um, what else do I need off this laptop? I believe I need this piece here as well. This is going to be kind of tricky to get off. I'm going to try very hard not to break the thing. So I'll zoom you guys in on this so you can see it. And there she goes. I'm going to need a slotted screwdriver, otherwise known as a flathead. And I still haven't taken these back to, to work with me since I've bought them. Um, that's my own fault, but they're serving their purpose right now. Come on. I almost had it there. And there we go. So we got ourselves a new latch, as soon as the uh, focus dial's in there. As you can see, this one is in pretty good shape. Man, my focus is really bugging out on here. Uh, it's probably because there's not enough light. However, I can fix that, hopefully. I don't know if that made much of a difference, but I'll even open up the blinds here a little bit. And that should help. And there we go. So, for now, I think that's all that I'm going to be taking off this computer. Um, I did remove the battery, as you can see here. I'm not going to deal with this battery yet. I don't know if it works. I don't know what's up with it, but I'm just going to leave it in this machine as I <clears throat> will leave that for probably the last part of the video. What I like about these old Toshibas, and for the record, I've always liked these old Toshibas, is they're very simple to work on. Uh, every time, well, even that other one that I had that I had working good that I put up on eBay. I had absolutely no issues working on that. It was very easy to work on, work with, and everything in between. So, move that over here. 
and now we have the one that I hope to get working at some point here. Um, the easiest part of this would be to replace the latch. So I'm going to remove it the same way I removed the other one. And I'm going to be very careful not to break it. I say that very lightly, but very with a serious tone at the same time. So I've got to bend it without breaking it. And there we go. Just like that. So now, if I decide to keep this laptop or not, if another owner comes in and wants it, now they have a one thing they can't try and lowball me on. So that part's good. Now we can put the larger hard drive in the machine. So let me zoom out you guys again. And move up here. Now I've got the caddy. The pins are all good. I did check them out. They are all good. So we just slide it in like so. And hopefully that didn't mess anything up. Remember, you can always, you know, pull it back out and make sure nothing got damaged in any way. That's sometimes what I do because, you know, you don't want to ever force these. You do not want to ever force them. That's the worst thing you can do with laptops. So, the larger hard drive is in the machine. Let's get our new caddy plate here and put it in. And now, we just about have a completely uniform machine here. So, looks a lot better. Let me get you guys off the tripod. And, of course, I still have to clean it up a little bit to make it look presentable. Because when I, when I restore old things like this, I like to get it as close to the original condition as I possibly can under the right amount of money. Uh, everything else seems to check out good here. And I also do have some wireless cards. So that could be another project as well as getting this thing online, this very old computer. And I will be happy to show you guys that when it happens. So now, stay tuned. I'm going to power it up and see what happens with this new hard drive. And if you don't remember, I put in the new trackpad too. So like I said, stay okay. tuned guys. Now that I've got it connected onto the power, according to this, we're getting power. There's something that appears to have be wrong here. Let me see if I can deal with this. Okay. And now we're turning on. Bad RTC battery. That's typical. So we know it works, but now is going to be the part where I've got to put the OS onto it. So let's control alt. Where's the delete key here? It is. Insert system disk and drive. So it's prompting me. Um, I don't know if it's prompting me for the installation desk for Windows, but that's what I'm going to assume, and that's what it's going to get. Let me make sure the disk is completely clean here. 
don't want it having any hiccups at all. And let's put it in. And it doesn't want to do it. So I'm going to have to go into the CMOS and do some messing around. Okay guys, so guess what? Now we're getting somewhere. So Turns out it was a uh, was a bum uh, <laughs> bum CD-ROM drive, which again, good thing I've got a spare on hand from that parts machine. It mistakenly I let it try and boot to the uh, boot from the hard drive. So let's boot from CD-ROM and let's see what we can go with here. I'm trying to get you guys as close to this as I can. Uh, start computer with CD-ROM. Start Windows 98 setup with CD-ROM support. So it's, as you can see, it's installing the drivers or putting the drivers in ROM or something like that. In RAM, sorry. And let's see what we got here. To set up program, prepares Windows 98 to run on your computer. To set up Windows Now, press Enter. Configure unallocated disk space. I'm going to go ahead and hit that. Yes, enable large disk support. Let's make sure I'm on this. Unfortunately, I don't have a floppy disk, but let's see what happens. Maybe I can circumvent this in a way. And yeah, it's looking like it wants a CD wrong or a floppy, but I don't have that. So let's see if I can circumvent that. I can always, it's probably asking me for FAT32 or NTFS. I want to say it's FAT32. Well, I guess it's doing it anyways. Fair enough. <clears throat> Hopefully, this doesn't burn the house down. And while it's doing that, I'm going to get everything all cleaned up here. Put the old CD-ROM drive back in the parts machine. That's why I like eBay, guys. Because for basically 20 bucks, I just got, let's see, one, two, <laughs> hard drive, three parts, four, counting the track point. Um, possibly five if I was to include the battery and anything else I wanted to use off this machine. So I consider that a good deal. That is definitely a good deal. Um, I'm even going to put the old uh, port caddy back into this machine. And there you have that. So let's throw him over there. And while that's loading, and we'll show you guys, um, for those of you who haven't seen the other video that I featured these in, I have two wireless cards, a D-Link Air, which I've never used this one before. I'm not familiar with it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the drivers for these on CDs because I guarantee you Windows 98 does not have them built in. Uh, we have a Linksys 2.4 gigahertz wireless G adapter. This is the most common one that I've seen. Uh, we'll probably try this one first. And then if all else fails, the hard line is the most reliable. So another D-Link, and I guarantee you this one will most likely work if these don't. So as it's loading, Put those over there. Get everything all tidy over here. And that should be, this should be good. I'm hoping things are gonna work out good for this machine. If they don't, I am not gonna be happy. But that's really just a par for the course with this older stuff. I like doing this though. I like, uh, you know, putting stuff together, seeing if I can get it to work. It's uh, always been kind of fun for me. Okay guys, so here's the Toshiba 470 CDT. 
in uh, all of its retro glory. I have fixed the latch here on the side. I actually ended up having to replace the 2 gig hard drive. Um, I was going to try and upgrade the RAM in it, but this one's got the same you know, amount of RAM in it, so it wouldn't have been worth it, obviously. I tried getting the uh, D-Link wireless card to work, but for some reason it's not seeing the driver, even though I've found, I've put the drivers in there myself, and uh, yeah, it's just becoming really irritating, so I don't know why the focus is doing that. Now we have light, so let's see if it still does it. Um, <clears throat> the sound on it works, as you'll see. Uh, I put the uh, caddy cover right here for the hard drive. So let's go ahead and very gently open it with one hand. And power buttons here on the side, just like the other Toshiba that I had. Oh, forgot to plug it in. Stupid me, stupid me. Okay, so now that I have it plugged in, and the uh, CMOS, the battery's dead, so let's hit F1 and we'll go through it. And it makes me do this every time I start it, unfortunately. Yeah. Windows 98. This computer actually works pretty dang good. Unfortunately, it's not fast enough to play Tiberian Sun, but I did put Office 97 onto it. I do not why, know why the flash keeps doing that. Getting really irritating, actually. And as I said, I put Tiberian Sun on there. And it also has Office, which will show up here on the side. Yeah, this computer is really old. Let's go down here. Come on. Yeah, it's still starting up, so it doesn't really want to do anything. See what I mean? Okay, so programs. Microsoft Word. Oh yeah, that's retro. So there you go, Microsoft Word with the annoying paper clip. And it works. Works good. I'm uh, <clears throat> most likely going to sell this machine. I don't know if I'm going to eBay it or Craigslist it. I probably won't get much of it on much for it on Craigslist. So if any of you guys out there want it, ship me an offer and we'll see what happens. But everything on it works fine. It's just uh, just too slow to play Tiberian Sun or any other games that I would play on it, unfortunately. So, alright guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Rate, comment, subscribe. Later.